This is Company Saturdays. Every Saturday, we present you with another company. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Microsoft. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome back to our channel. We're glad to have you here today, but we must admit, we're about to go down a bit of a geeky path. Today's journey is all about success, business savvy, and a touch of failure, plus how to get back up after that. We're talking, of course, about tech giant Microsoft. Being the first real software company in the world, Microsoft made computing hardware accessible to the masses and managed to become one of the most revolutionizing inventions in history. And the most amazing part of this is that Microsoft cleared the way for other software innovations. Collaborating with Apple for a short period of time, Microsoft managed to develop its own competitive brand and hold for one of the most used operating systems in the world at the moment. There's likely not one person on the planet that hasn't heard the names Bill Gates or Paul Allen, and they've proven to have just as much of an impact as the revolutionary operating system they created. Microsoft's long-term plan has been and continues to be putting a PC on every desk in every home, and they are closer to that goal than ever before. Whether you love it or not, the company has made many innovations both in tech and the business world and has radically changed how we use technology. Microsoft continues to innovate and holds up to 50,000 patents in their record, including the HoloLens headset, being one of the top five patent holders in the US. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. It's hard to imagine where we would be today without it. So without further ado, here's 15 things you didn't know about Microsoft. Number 1. It was founded by childhood friends Bill Gates and Paul Allen Microsoft was founded by Bill Gates and Paul Allen, who met when they were studying at Lakeside School in Seattle. They quickly developed a friendship through their interest for technology and curiosity. They even hacked the security system of the Computer Center Corporation, a company that immediately asked them to help them find weak spots in their platform. In 1995, Allen showed Gates an issue of Popular Electronics magazine, which showcased the Altair 8800, the first microcomputer in the world. Soon after, they came up with the idea of developing a programming language for that computer, and the rest, as they say, is history. Number 2. Microsoft's headquarters is in continuous expansion. The Redmond headquarters is a sprawling, over 800 million square foot campus that has been Microsoft's home since 1986. Nowadays, around 40,000 employees work there, take a commuter bus called the Connector to work, and can enjoy many amenities including coffee shops, stores, and restaurants. You could say that Microsoft has built a mini city in itself and that it's in continuous expansion. Last year, Microsoft revealed big plans for adding 18 buildings and an 87,120 square foot open plaza. The campus also has a visitor center, complete with AI and cutting edge technology showcasing, but also with a nod to Microsoft's past. Number 3. Before Microsoft, there was Trafodata. However, the two co-founders of Microsoft didn't become successful overnight. On the contrary, while still in high school, Gates and Allen created a computer that could count traffic automatically. While the system technically worked, they struggled to find the right business model, and it was all a big flop in the end. However, they did get something major out of the experience. The code they had was really, really good. They got to know how microprocessors worked, which was critical for their next endeavors. Their partner at the time, engineer Paul Gilbert, went on to say that Microsoft could not have happened if it weren't for Trafodata. Number 4. Microsoft hustled and chose their partners wisely. It's fair to say that if you put some geniuses together, great things will happen, which is true. But even more true is that Paul Allen and Bill Gates knew how to choose their business partners and make great things happen. And their partnership with IBM was the most important of all. You see, IBM needed software for their personal computers, and Microsoft was the best company for the challenge. 35 of their 100 employees at the time worked for one year on this project. All in all, the result was DOS, also known as Disk Operating System, which was the operating system that brought Microsoft their big break. 
No other company at the time could make a programming language and a software app for IBM, which turned out to be a big hit among consumers. Number 5. Bill Gates, the Microsoft inventor, has a net worth of $92.3 billion. Bill Gates became the world's richest man in 1995, with a net worth of $12.9 billion, and maintained his position on and off for decades to come. However, he broke all records in 1987, when at the age of 31 he became the youngest ever billionaire. It was the year in which Microsoft went public, and the company's growth simply exploded. Paul Allen is a billionaire himself, and many Microsoft people became very rich. For example, Steve Ballmer, who was the CEO from 2000 to 2013, is now worth $38.7 billion. According to some sources, Microsoft has even achieved to make as many as 12,000 millionaires. At the moment, Bill Gates is sitting at number two on the list of the richest people in the world, with a net worth of $92.3 billion. Number 6. Microsoft has had some user interface failures in the past. This goes to show that even if you're insanely successful, there'll be failures and low points in your journey. Take for example, Bob, the main screen that didn't happen, fortunately, for Microsoft users and the company itself. Bob was a yellow cartoon character with glasses that looked a lot like Bill Gates and his so-called living room was supposed to guide users. For example, if you clicked on the envelope in the room, you'd open your email. Plus, there was other cartoon characters that were supposed to be included, a dog named Rover, Shelly the turtle, and many more. The project was abandoned soon after, but some elements stayed and were included such as the helpers in later versions of Windows. Number 7. Bill Gates had a strange love-hate relationship with Steve Jobs The world seemed divided in two. One person likes Apple and the other likes Microsoft products, and there's no way they could ever mix or agree with each other. That's what can be said about the longtime feud between Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. The two were actually friends at the beginning, even collaborating. Microsoft continued with the software for the Apple II PC. That all changed when Microsoft released the first ever Windows operating system in 1985, and Jobs felt that Microsoft had ripped off his idea. The conflict went on for years. For example, Jobs kept criticizing Microsoft for being unoriginal and uninspiring, according to him, while Gates dissed the iPad idea from the get-go. However, throughout the years, it was still clear that they respected each other a lot. Gates thought Jobs had excellent taste, and Jobs said that he admired the Microsoft co-founder a lot and enjoyed working with him for that brief period of time. Friends or foes, who really knows? Number 8. Microsoft was sued for monopolizing the browser market the now infamous case of the United States vs. Microsoft Corporation made waves in 2001. Basically, the company was accused of having a monopoly and anti-competitive practices. That means that Microsoft could squash all competition before they even got to the market. And it was all because of Internet Explorer. At that time, you had to pay to use a browser, and Microsoft had the idea of making Windows come together with Internet Explorer as a package. This lawsuit was a huge deal because it could have forced Microsoft to divide the company and thus dissolve the empire, so to speak. However, they reached a settlement in the end, in which Microsoft agreed to share their application programming interfaces with third-party developers. Number 9. Microsoft may be worth $1 trillion in two years Whether you're a fan or not, you have to admit that Microsoft is a pretty impressive company. They managed to stay on the market for the last 43 years, and their products are everywhere, and most importantly, they continue to make a lot of money. According to a Wall Street analyst, the money-making streak is only going to grow and reach $1 trillion in 2020. In 2017, Microsoft shares went up more than 35%, which was actually better than their competitors Apple and Google did. So maybe if you're looking to invest, look no further than Microsoft. Number 10. Microsoft had a revenue of $90 billion in 2017 Microsoft is among the tech giants because of its innovation and knack for taking advantage of market opportunities. As a result, the company made $90 billion in 2017 alone. What's more, Microsoft is known to be very trustworthy and generated $22.3 billion as a cash return for shareholders last year. 
One of the main resources for this growth is the Microsoft Commercial Cloud Service, which offers products such as Azure and Microsoft Office 365. However, they have pledged to continue innovating and expanding their cloud services, while also keeping up with artificial intelligence and other emerging technologies. If you'd like to find out some more about the brains behind Microsoft, be sure to check out our video, 15 Things You Didn't Know About Bill Gates. Number 11. Microsoft enabled Bill Gates to help people throughout the world. To put it mildly, Microsoft changed how we use and see technology, but that is not the only revolutionary idea linked to Microsoft. Bill Gates stepped down as CEO in 2000 and has been even less involved in recent years. The reason? He wanted to focus on philanthropy through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. He still would be the richest person in the world if he hadn't given large chunks of his fortune away. Gates' philosophy is that money is no good if you can't help others, and he's doing just that. Now, he and his wife work tirelessly to improve global healthcare, eradicate extreme poverty, and are involved in many educational initiatives. Number 12. Microsoft has big plans involving AI. Microsoft is quietly working on developing its artificial intelligence-powered products, at least more quietly than Google, who's constantly promoting them. At a recent Microsoft conference for developers that took place in Seattle, May of 2018, they have revealed their most innovative tools that aim to help companies include AI into their processes. It means the products have better text-to-speech abilities, custom voice recognition, and computers that are way better at recognizing objects and doing visual searches. For example, doctors will be able to screen patients and identify early patterns that predict blindness. Microsoft's current corporate vice president said, I hope we spark imagination and I hope we show them more ways that imagination can come true. Number 13. More than 1.5 billion people use Windows daily. Although the numbers aren't exact, Microsoft claims they have had 1.5 billion users of Windows per day in 2016, and 1.2 billion for Microsoft Office. And if that seems impressive, it's because it is. One in seven people on Earth is pretty much, considering that statistically speaking, not everyone has access to a laptop or other devices. At the same time, Microsoft has seen a shift from Windows in recent years. The cloud is now the biggest thing they're taking notice of. Microsoft Office 365 is the most important thing for them now, and it shows. There are around 120 million users of the platform's business division only. Number 14. Microsoft Loves Codenames No, this isn't a spy movie, but if it were, it would be called Codename Microsoft. Probably. I mean, we don't really know. But what we do know is that the company loves using code names for its products that are still in development. They receive their store names later on in the production stage, and Microsoft announces the actual name shortly before it's ready to be used by customers. The code names range from pretty common ones, such as Codename Blue for Windows Phone 8.1, and Memphis for Windows 98, to Xenon for the Xbox 360, and Red Dog for Microsoft Azure. Number 15. Microsoft was way ahead of its time. From a startup with many successes and failures in the 70s to the giant tech empire of today, Microsoft's journey has been a fascinating one, and frankly, the world has a lot to thank them for. They have worked tirelessly to bring personal computers to every home and while experimenting with different products ahead of their competitors. For example, Microsoft released the very first tablet in 2001, way ahead of the iPad craze generated by Apple in 2010. The tablet ran on Windows XP, and it was supposed to do the same thing that a personal computer could do, just failed to thrive on the market. And that's it for today, Alexers. Thanks for watching. Now we're curious, do you think Microsoft will stay as relevant in the future, or will it be eventually dethroned by its competitors? Let us know in the comments. Oh, where do you think you're going? Stick with us, of course, we have a bonus fact just for you. Number 16. Microsoft employees love M&Ms. People usually have traditions at the office, such as buying gifts for birthdays or eating pizza on Tuesdays. Microsoft employees, however, seem to power their brains with lots and lots of sugar. The tradition says that for each year that you've worked in the company, you have to bring a pound of M&Ms for your coworkers. That means if someone was hired 15 years ago, they would have to bring in 
15 pounds of the sugary stuff to work. And if you thought that was sweet, Microsoft restaurants in the Redmond, Washington campus offer a wide variety of world-class cuisine, making it pretty hard to decide each day what you're going to have for lunch. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy. Or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.